Hey love, so in today's video it's a little bit different and we're actually going to be organizing maybe some of my drawers so I wanted to bring you guys on this journey with me of trying to organize everything. So I went to Burlington the other day and I saw these containers and as you guys can see they do bring 10 pieces in total and this is everything that it includes. It shows you in the picture, two circular, two small circular, two small square, two medium rectangle. It also brings two large rectangular ones, one large shallow bin and one large deep bin. So it incorporates all of these and these are like multi-use, like whatever you want to use them for. And they're pink, they're pastel, definitely up my alley. So I thought they're really cute. And I decided to want and not get these. So I'm gonna see what I can organize today with you all. And yeah, so I'm just going to be cutting this really quickly. So this video is a little bit different, different camera angles and all, you know, because I do have to organize everything. So this is what it looks like. Brings different ones, so just cut this out. So I'll show you like what the bins look like once I am done. But um ow. You guys have to be very careful with these type of scissors if you have them because they're extremely sharp. And by the way, I have gloves that fit me for all you guys that were making fun of me um, in my previous videos about my gloves being big, like really. Let's make this a bully free channel, you know? You don't have to be mean about things like that. Or if not, just so much my content. And it's sad that I even have to say that on my video, but it's not very nice. Okay, so anyways, moving on. I am just trying to remove, like, bins. Oh, and they're so pretty. Like, I love how they have this detailing and everything. I think that's really nice. I don't know. I'm just going to see what I'm going to be using. Um, so, yeah, I'm just taking out whatever I think I might use for today's video and show you guys. Not sure if I'm going to be using everything, but... Okay, and then this really big one, I think. These are really big, so. That'll be for some other time for other things, but I'm just gonna briefly show you the ones that I might be like occupying today, which is these two circular ones. Then we also have these two like this. They're pretty big, so I hope they fit like nicely in my drawers. I thought the color was really pretty. So one of the main reasons why I got this. And then I also have these two that I could work with as well. Along with these two. So I'm really excited to bring this video to you all. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Thank you for all the love and support to everybody who supports me on any of my social medias. Along with on my Etsy shop. It means the absolute world. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you guys enjoyed. So we're starting off with this first drawer right here and it's not that messy or anything but i feel like it could have a little bit of a better like function so right here i did have these just thrown anywhere and i only have one left so i definitely have to restock on that and these are the lux brush wipes they do bring 50 absolutely love these very very effective and very useful if you're doing any type of like nail stuff like gel polish builder gel you know acrylic anything that you're working with so I'm going to go ahead and put that aside. I do have a brush that fell in here that I used in yesterday's video. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and check it out. I did do some cornstarch nails. So I thought that would be nice and different. Just to bring a little throwback video to the channel. And then as you guys are seeing here, I do have like some stuff out. And a disclaimer. Um, I do this all for fun and as a hobby. I am not a nail tech. And I am not a licensed cosmetologist or anything like that. I literally do this for fun. I don't do nails on anybody but myself. So, and on my boyfriend when I practice on him. But other than that, I've never done nails on anyone. This is just for me. So I decided to put these like this for fun and stuff. But yeah, here I obviously had... Okay. So, yeah. Usually how I place these was like this. I never even sealed them or anything because I'm like the only one that, you know, uses this. And I don't even use these. So I just have them there. But if in the near future I ever do like friends or 
a family member or something like that, I could definitely use this. But yeah, this is usually how I set them up. I don't really have a lot of like nail clippers. That's why there's no nail clippers on here. But this one has a really pretty uh, like gold cuticle pusher. I mean gold cuticle nipper. This one has like a rainbow cuticle nipper. So yeah, they're all different, but they're very nice. This one has like a scissor in that one. And I have this one as well. And so on and so forth, as you guys can all see. So I'm going to move this under the wall really quickly. And I'm just going to place these back here. And I'm just placing them here really quick. Just organizing them. And then this one actually goes in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it back in there. And I did have, I did purchase some seals for these but um they're really cute actually i just they're in bags right now and i haven't really gone through them to see so let's see if this is even able to get in there so it was okay well, that's as fast as it's gonna get but yeah so just want to show you guys that i do that for fun so i have this one as well and stuff like this, I'm just going to literally remove it out of its place because, um, why not? Okay, I'm just going to leave it in here, though. This is just, uh... oh no, I hope I didn't crush this. These are the drawers that I always work with when I'm doing videos, so it's really important for me for the drawers to be like organized and neat. Okay, right now I'm having a really hard time putting this back. I don't even know why. <laughs> so I apologize for that. Okay, maybe some other time I could fix this. Or maybe I should just take it out of its case to make my life a little easier. So yeah, I'm just gonna put that there. And I'll figure out what to do with that later. But here, what I usually have, and a lot of baking soda on a lot of things because I did um, use it yesterday for a video. But um, here, what I have is like these nail tip cutters. I feel like you could never have enough. So I don't know. I just like to have more than one. I also have some little scissors. And I also have a cute little nipper. So I think I'm going to leave these two here just because. I need something that's already like disposable for me to just use right away. What is this? I think that was like a no or like a piece of product. I don't know. And then um, I always like to leave one out at least. Just in case, you know, when I'm working on a video or whatever, I have something to use right away. And I have to constantly take them out of here. And then these are just some bowls that I like to use. Like some little trinket trays that I like to use to display like charms or anything like that and then here i have buffers and stuff and i did have them on this side but i don't know i might change this around i don't really like the way this looks i feel like there needs to be a container here and, and that is exactly what i'm gonna do right now i am going to move these files really quick And I'm gonna, uh, these are miniature files that I have as well. But I'm just gonna go ahead and move this. And I have two pens. They don't really belong here, but when I'm doing orders and stuff. It's a lot of random stuff. This cuticle oil doesn't belong here either. Um, I just put these here because I didn't know where to put them. Mind you, I've never used those before. And now I'm starting to see how this might not work. No. So I definitely have to get a bigger one. And I have more of those clear ones. I just um, forget. Honestly. So. Let's see how this fits. Let me remove this really quickly. I hope this video is like not all over the place. But um, yeah, that's not the point of it. But. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna be placing this right here and I'm just gonna organize it to the best of my ability. So I hope you guys enjoy this portion of the video. I'm sorry if I don't like do the best stuff. I mean, I'm really good at organizing things to be honest. So. I'm just trying my best to do what I can in this video. And I thought you guys would enjoy it instead of me just doing it off camera. Why not film it and show you guys the process? I know I had some people saying that they really wanted to see how I organize stuff, so yeah. from this company in so long remember they used to send me a lot of things but i don't know what happened to them and i'm actually thinking since i just have these right here like out in the open that i'm gonna go ahead and grab them so i do have these wipes they're alcohol prep wipes i'm just gonna go ahead and probably place them here instead of just having them right here stuff was brought through amazon like a long time ago so just in case you're wondering and i realized i have so many prep wipes that they won't even fit these definitely won't fit so i think i'm just gonna leave the rest back here honestly i guess i'll just leave it back there um i have these as well from this company keeps my files in place so i'm just gonna leave that there um i also have these i'm gonna put them over here and then i think i might make this drawer i mean not this drawer but like this i think i might just make this one like um i don't know maybe something different like i mentioned sorry this was baking soda and i didn't like clean it off or anything but yeah, these are like my spoons and stuff. I feel like everything here is just jumbled together, so. No, wait, I have to change that. These are like these like mixers that you would mix like gel, builder gel, or anything with. I thought they were super pretty, and I got them on um, some extra, like extra tools. I'm going to put them here. This extra stuff here, we have like a cat eye magnet. It literally sticks to everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and Okay, it's not even coming out right now. But any extra stuff like this, I'm just gonna put it back here. This brush goes here. I'm gonna put my brushes right here too, because they're all they like go everywhere. Okay, I want to just try to make this like brushes only. So I do have a lot of these. I think they're really pretty. And I did get them through um, a lot of these as well. Yeah. This. I really hope you guys are enjoying this video. I hope it's not boring. Just trying to switch things up on my channel. Just making more like entertaining content, I guess. trying to figure out what i originally had in here because it just seems to be all over the place but i really like these scissors so i definitely always have them around um i think they're really cute so i 
buy a lot of these on Amazon. I'm not on Amazon, but on um, AliExpress. Okay, well. It's a lot of tweezers and stuff. I like scissors. So I guess I'll leave the scissors and scissors in here. It's kind of like a tweezers and scissors. break these things i don't like to pressure these so much but i mean if i have to i will oh and this is like um to pierce the nails if you want to do like dangling chunks it's very most for me i love these so. leave it here and then i'm gonna go ahead and place um my little brushes here because why not i really thought i had more Maybe I do and they're just in bags, so I'm just gonna keep my brushes right here. Thought that that looks nice. Just gonna make sure that, that I don't have more. Oh, okay, see, I do have more brushes, and I don't know why there's broken nose in here from like past sets. Okay, so I just want brushes in here. I have another brush right here. I'm gonna fix that right now, but okay, so I have that. and I have a lot more to put in here, but like I mentioned, there are bags right now, and that would be a whole separate video. You know, I realize I have to get more of these because I don't even have that many. I don't have that many, so Sorry, a lot of things are just falling on the floor. So let me just put these, just putting in these things. These are double under brushes, so I'm gonna just put them there. I'm gonna take these out of the bag and put these here as well. Because I definitely have a lot. I have a lot of these. And I really enjoy like collecting them and stuff, so. I have more on my desk that I keep on my desk as well. So I will leave those there and I'll keep these here. And I just rearrange these really quickly. Yeah, so far this is what it's looking like and i really like it i'm happy with it um these little trinket trays like i'm gonna just put them like right here and i'll be able to see them if anything and then i'm also gonna go ahead and put something here so i'm thinking of maybe what i could put here um not sure But I just remember that this is the place where I put the other things in. I might have to remove this actually. I might have to remove that. Um, I have to move this one. But I really forgot about it.
Okay, well, this is what this drawer is going to look like right now at the moment. So this is my top drawer, and in this drawer I have like a lot of the things that I use when I am filming. So um, let me try to see if I could make the camera look a little bit better. We just get like a better overview of everything. So yeah, this particular drawer I have my dental bibs. I have um, some lint-free wipes. I also have files. I have fine sanding bags here. S there are some in there mix, like some like um, rougher grits mix in there. I have my nail glue. I have um, KDS glue along with this nail glue that I got on Amazon. And then in the back right here, I have like these manicure brushes i have a bunch you can't really see it the camera doesn't go that far but you guys kind of get the point and then i also have some like like these type of buffers the long one the block buffers and i have the mini the miniature ones as well and then i have some face masks here because i mean um it's very important to have some face masks and since i already have a used one this is the one i used yet for yesterday's video but yeah very important to always be protected from fumes and stuff like that so here i have my flashy lamps and then here i have these which i have to clean out but i have a bunch of these like available to me if i need to use it for like slip solution or monomer alcohol stuff like that and i honestly never got to using this but this is the type of pen where you're like it's no polish remover so you put alcohol from one end oh okay maybe i shouldn't have done that but you put alcohol from one end like in here and then um yeah i don't know why that happened i didn't even know this had these in here but i got this through shan it's supposed to remove like anything around the anything around the outside of the cuticle that you want to clean and um here i have the things that i like use the most often or that i thought like i wanted here so here we have a bunch of like um my like go-to stuff so of course i have my eno couture um squeeze gummy jelly i have um a lot of top coats base coats different primers that i usually use or work with i have my peel off coats i have that one and then i have the unt one um nail prep that's my go-to right now i also have a moravon one moravon i think that's how you say it um your secret one i have foil glue like things that i need to access while i'm filming have to be in this drawer so I'm also going to go ahead and put my 4-in-1 base coat by Velvina's by Double Tip. It's really good, so I like using it. But yeah, usually I have those type of things here, like things that I really need to access. This didn't fit, so I just put it on top along with this pen. Which I don't even use it, but this has to be refilled, so I already have them on the side. So here they go. And I did get these through like either AliExpress or Shein. They're really good quality. So yeah, guys, I hope you are all enjoying this video so far. You get to see a little bit more of, you know, my desk and all that. So here we're moving on to a really messy drawer. And this is my third drawer. Um, it is a very messy. Usually this is a drawer where I just like to throw everything in there in regards to whatever. So... Yeah, we have a lot of messy. It's really messy. So here, what I usually keep is like anything from a dip powder or something like, and stuff like that. So here we have all the acrylic um, mixes that I've done. So these I do swatch and keep because I really like them. So there's some of the ones that I've done. And then I also have like these that I've done. Go check out the video definitely if you're interested and in seeing how I create these. And then I think I did these as well. These were with the um, stuff from like, um, what is that called again? House of Supply. Like I just, 
did an acrylic mix with um, their clear acrylic and their glitters that they had set for that month. So yeah, these are the ones that I've done. And then I have some more swatches as well. Right here, some more acrylic swatches that I have done. But, um, yeah, I don't really do swatches like that. Maybe I should start getting into doing it just to be a little bit more organized. But I'm going to just put that aside really quick. And here I have some nail films. I've never even used nail films, but I do tend to have quite some. So, here are some swatches that I recently have purchased. So I just put one back in the drawer. And then it comes with more. I bought this pack of a hundred on um, Amazon, and then here are some of like nails that I wanted to keep, so I just put them in there. Here I have like stamping stuff for some reason, and then here on the side I actually have more of these miniature files. I guess I didn't have a place to put them, but you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and put this over there in the other drawer because if I already um, organized that, I just need to get where it belongs. So, just a random bag. Here I have my dark swatches. Black swatches when I want to do like certain swatches, like gel polishes, reflective polishes or so. I have that. So I keep that here. And then I also have, I actually have swatched some of my dip powders. At one point I was obsessed with dip powder. Still am, I really like it. But um, yeah, here are some of the swatches I've done. I brought some off of um, Etsy shops as well. I think these, this one right here has to be one of my favorites. So pretty. Oh, and this one is stunning. Love it. So yeah, here I just have a bunch of colors and stuff. I was actually, the reason why I did these swatches is because I've been actually wanting to do my um, mother-in-law's nails. I wanted to do dip powder on her, so. I haven't done a chance. So when the chance comes, the opportunity comes, I definitely will have her choose from this. And these are not all of the powders that I own, but it's the ones that I did. But yeah, here I have some more of the black swatches as well. So I'm just going to be putting that right over here. And let me put this aside. I have this random thing here. And then here I have these. I don't really, you know what? I have to throw these out. This is like not even appropriate at this point. I definitely have to throw these out. I'm going to keep this one because it looks alright. But this one, it has to go. <laughs> and I actually have to buy more. So I definitely will. And then I have these, which I don't even like. So these are going to be going in the garbage. Because I don't like those. And I have like many containers. So I'm just going to be placing these right here. And I'm actually going to remove this. Because I just got some new ones. From. Just purchased some new tag anyway. So. This has been here for a while. It has to go. So. right here and I will be purchasing one wow this literally just ate up it literally ate away my glove oh well so that glove is just gonna have a hole for the rest of the video but yeah so I'm just gonna be placing that here or maybe I'm gonna place this somewhere else honestly I don't know yet, but yeah here this was like a swatch from a polish I really like that's going in the trash though. so it's just some Oh, these are acrylic swatches as well. That's going in the trash for you. I don't need it. But here pretty much is just um, everything that has to do with um, dip powder. Everything here is dip powder related. So you're going to see 
face code, um, activator. I have all these from as well. So, what's this? What's the acrylic? It's acrylic model. Okay, I don't know what a game time card is doing here, but yeah, I probably placed that there last time. But yeah, so here's everything to power in. Right? Okay, this is not the one here. Like I mentioned, this is a type of drawer. I just put everything in there. And then here I have some of these, like, um, these are just some. I have a lot more that I've gotten, but I haven't. Like organized it or filled it in. I don't know why these well, these make sense as to why they're here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that there. Um, but I'm gonna remove the female senses. And then back here I have um some of my lamps that fit in here. So I just have my mini lamps here and I did use this one so and I just try to put these like these USB cables from these lamps. I just try to put them in like three by four. Yeah, just to be a little bit more organized, you know, just my lamps and my cables. So some of them left right there. And then I have this. And then now on the side, I think I'm just going to put some of my swatches that I showed you guys. Let's see how that goes. Because these drawers are not that big. I so don't really put that many things in them. Put these, but I mean, I don't really know what's going on. Just gonna, mm, these are Just gonna put these right over here, and then these more ones. I'm gonna go ahead and put them. This is going to go over here in this drawer. As of this particular drawer, I'm going to leave it like this. Um, maybe in the near future, I'll do that or organize me. Because right now, that is how I'm going to be leaving it. This is one of the messiest drawers, and this is my charm drawer. Um, it's really hard to like organize this one just because I have a lot of charms. And, um, you know, because of the containers and stuff, it's really hard Excuse me, I just yawned, but it's really hard to just, you know, try to find a rhythm with this. But here I have these containers. Um, I have a lot of these type of containers that I didn't want to throw away, so I just put them in there. But that they don't belong here, so I have to remove them. I have like rhinestones that I have to organize. Charms that have not been organized. Actually, don't belong there because if not, I won't really be able to see some more charms and stuff like that. So, yeah, some of them are just 
terms of my And I don't know why. So yeah, there's a lot of times that um, has to be organized, so I'm just trying to take everything out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to give you guys a little tour of my charms. This is one of them. And I have these. So I gotta remove these from uh, there. There's some charms I made. That's the one that I called out. Now that I think about it. Um, this one seems simple here. Yeah. These don't either. This belongs in um, my homemade charms box, so I'll put that there. Yeah, I have this one as well. I have some around some, some more color coordinated charms. This is not the one here. And some more charms. Some more charms. Just trying to show you guys my charm boxes, just in case some people want to see. These are my daily charm boxes. And I have other drawers here um, in this overall drawer with more charms, but they just didn't fit in this cabinet. These are from Daily Charm. So I really like those. I don't know what happened to this. From Daily Charm. Some more ransom. And some more charms right here. So I am just going to really quickly try to organize them to the best of my ability. but like I mentioned because of how the charms are it's a little bit difficult you know to figure it all out but um I do have some more charm boxes that I did in previous videos that I could actually, um, like, organize right now. Hmm. 
Okay, well, that's about how, as much as stuff that fits in here. This was like the best that I could possibly do this drawer. I will definitely go back to it. But yeah, I think for today's video, that's a little bit of a lot to share and organize. So thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments what were your thoughts and opinions about this particular video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean the world. And hit the notification bell to never miss out on any uploads. So thank you all once again. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you in the next upload.